Got ourselves Lucifer first up over for the team one. Lack Messiah on the team as well as Short and Deadly Tizia as well as Volk, who never really got a chance to play last time. It's going to be a muted opener versus Q and Bo. Looks like we're missing one over on team two. Hopefully they'll get the plus one in just a moment as Q and Bo tried to find himself an angle versus Lucifer. Man's got himself a shield of vengeance together with a little bit of the blessing of Sanctify while a full crusade is roaring. He's trying to see if he can build it up, letting the engine go for a little bit longer until the man hits this peak peak capacity trying to see if you can blast their cute bow charge it right in oh ho, 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 ho. that templars verdict once you got it fully ramped up just goes in like a guillotine pop the turtle but i think you're standing in consecrations what killed you or whatever dot you had killed you that was a lot of damage just out of left field too oh no 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 demonic is gonna be up next at least doesn't have to go with a paladin with a full crusade but lucifer walking into this one without an immunity for a bubble blessing protection still there Trying to see if we can maybe use Blessing of Saint in order to um, dodge a stun or two as Demonic just keeps ripping right through and with Shadow Strikes and Viscerates and a secret technique just taking them out fairly quickly. Volk up next. Cloak shatters immediately for Demonic as he's looking for a full vanish reset. Actually, already burned one vanish. I guess the Paladino. And it's going to go for a quick sap of the Volk. Volk being. I almost feel like I have to. <laughs> I almost feel like I have to mention it every single time. But yeah, that's Shield Pills and his D. Uh, Priest. <laughs> My game is onto Demoniac, trying to go for a blind into uh, some backstabs onto the pet. I think he's still got enough dots, will not be able to go for a clean reset. Trying to go for a bit of a sip pick up once the uh, mind games does wear off. Secret you click onto Walk without a stun or anything. Try to go for a sanity. Kick from Rogue doesn't interrupt him on Holy, but not on the Shadow. It's going to be an opportunity for you to get some damage out. Trying to go for a bit of healing right after. Trinkets out of the stun. I think Demonic is just done and done, right? Trying to see if he can just fight through it. He's actually living for quite a while, though. He's still alive for a bit here. He's still healing. Hold on a sec. Oh, I was going to say, maybe he catches a reset. Because he was alive for a good while there until the Shadow of Death hit him. Well done. I think at that point, he realized he doesn't really have much to work with defensively. So he's like, you know, I'm just going to try to stay in. Get as much damage as I can. Ball getting hit with a stun as he trips over a binding shot. And Rosie just unleashes that absolute havoc in the guy. Throwing every grenade. Kill shots in all directions. Got to be a bit of burst for Volk. Got himself a bit of a silence on the Rosie. Fear does trick it out of that one immediately. Volk maybe can go for some massive kill shot. That's so much damage. Gets a juke out of kick. Finally get himself an opportunity to get a few heals. Stun. Mind games. Huge hit. Going to be feigned death for Rosie. Going to be an opportunity for you to at least get some dots back on the guy. Got to draw also a siphon as well to reduce some of the healing from Rosie. As long as Rosie does not get a stun or anything, you might be okay. Not going to be seeing kill shots unless you get some big damage. Does get to go for a juke, but the grenade and the explosives all at once blast. The Shadow Priest is me the race. That was so much damage out of left field. With Tutsio finally getting a proper chance to play the Frosty Mage versus Rosie. Giving him as much of an honor duel. Letting him go for a full manning advantage. Probably going to let you even pick up a full camo of the bat. My goodness. Freeze onto uh, Rosie. This is gonna be the snow drift trying to see if you can freeze in full rain process. So, oh, 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 no, no way. That was so much damage. Tootsie, oh, what is this? <laughs> Just a full freeze stuns him immediately, beams him down. Zoom. That's so good. As SM Halls is gonna be up next. My goodness, can you do that again? That was awesome. Was that a full, uh, full cooldowns and everything? That was great. It's gonna go knock SM back into the arena. It's gonna freeze him right after. You have another go. He has another soldier. I don't think he has another beam, but Glacier Spike, he does. It's gonna be a trinket out of SM just to see if he can just reduce some of the shatter value. It's gonna go for that Stormkeeper. Hitsio try to go for a kick. Doesn't quite land it. SM got himself plenty of movement, plenty of damage, trying to go for a bit of healing. Lightning ready in his hands. But I don't know if he's ready to send it just yet. He wants to. But I don't think he's ready as of this moment. Gonna be Tutsio trying to get himself some more flurries, some more ice lances, but got himself a decent setup. That's gonna be a random bloodlust ready for Tutsio as well, which should speed up the rotation quite a bit. Blink it out of the stun. That's gonna be an earth elemental join in for SM. Freeze. They have yourself another go. Has himself the uh, glacier spike together with Ray. Hold on a second. Knocking him back. Oh no. <laughs> if only you had. Um, There's no way you could have predicted it. But if only you had some way somehow uh, glacial advance and you use glacial advance as you're beaming with your uh, ray that's like the only way you could have maintained that damage oh wait you do have glacial advance actually but that's like the only way you could have maybe even predicted it blizzards down lances are doing work i think some halls cannot really do much at this moment he got himself a little bit of healing 
Got yourself a fire elemental. At least keep it a little bit of support. The random lightning bolt is ready in his hands. Breath to follow. Ring of frost right after. If you position yourself right, you won't get knocked. I think he's got himself the big ray of frost together with glacial. Even if you knock it back, that's not going to do much. That's a lot of damage. As I'm still somehow alive, though. Flurry is going to be up. Big lances. Do you have a kick? Does get himself a kick. Just needs a little bit more damage. Oh, a glacial to finish him off. That is so good. Oh my goodness. That was great. Fire found a 50,000 Ray of Frost in one cast. Yikes. That's like the entire health bar then, huh? Got us as Torvalus first up over in his Alabaster Griffin, I think it's called. I think that's what it is. Versus, no, not like this. Say, Lucifer of the Bat. Over on the team, too, we got us as Lightning Side on the standby. We shortened Deadly. Tot, 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 Tutsio? Tutsio. And Volcron, which is Chopil's. On a Shatter Freeze, Torvus trying to see if he can get himself a bit of a stun opener onto Lucifer. Not forcing a trick out of the guy or anything. Big Hammer hand over the man's head. That could be a lot of damage. Does end up bubbling, but it's going to be Lucifer with a immunity to magic damage. Torvus will straight up all immunity. While Lucifer just trying to immune all this holy damage, which is super, super good when you use it by Paladin versus another Paladin stun onto Lucifer. Does get a chicken for this and Torvus trying to see if he can maybe get himself a little bit of survivability. Hammer hanging over the man's head. Needs some kind of a way to just deal with the damage sound right after to have himself a human Rachel to break out of this and blind to follow him and has a hammer also hanging over Lucifer's head. Bubble out of Lucifer. Does he have the damage? Torvus got shield of vengeance. If we could break through it, he doesn't really have much defenses to work with as Lucifer tried to see if he catch back up to the guy. But now that both Paladins are spent on immunities, Next one that gets a trinket is going to be Lucy. And Lucy may just be able to, I think, win this one here. Hammer hanging over to his head. The man does have a lay on hands. Timing that right is going to be a good opportunity. Full crusade is up for Lucifer. Lots of damage available. Hammer blasting Torvus. Get him super, super low. And just continue slamming those temples verdicts back to back. The verdict is in. You are guilty. Off to jail with you as Lucifer has no immunities. For the full combo, mad damage. Some of the rats firing off over to the short and deadly. That's unfortunate. But the blades, I think, are set in for Lucifer. Hopefully, some are set in. Hopefully, there was a feral frenzy in there somewhere. As a Johnny trying to get back over there towards the pallet. That's going to be his cloak. Finally, Brocket right then and there. Maim right after. Has quite a bit of damage back towards the Johnny, though. Able to stun him as a hammer. About to come down. The blades are ripping right to Lucifer, but he does have some lay on hands. Able to just break through the cloak of a Johnny fairly quickly. Barakskin, Wall, trying to use whatever he can just to escape behind the pillar. Big hammers hitting him back to back. Able to go for a bit of a shot and reset. But definitely needs to be looking out for his own health. Needs to find a way to get to another pillar, maybe. Away from Lucifer. Try to go for regrows. Bear for maybe. Oh, try to see if he can play with it. No, that's the next stun. I think he's just way too close. Oh, doesn't even need it. Lucifer just picked up a little bit of damage. Blasting him out. Out of left field with one more row going to be up next. From one Pharaoh until the next. Lucifer still holding strong for his team too. Stun onto Walmart. Trying to see if he can go for a bit of mobility. Trying not to really fight Walmart immediately. Got himself quite a bit of damage either way. They're getting those procs from the Templars into a trinket as he's trying to go for a cyclone. Trying to deny the cyclone for a feral druid. Has himself a rebuke at the ready. Maim, cyclone, finally able to get one. I think Walmart does have himself the next finisher. It's probably going to get a full feral frenzy, isn't it? Trying to go for another clone. Cat form, bite. Feral frenzy is up. All the bleeds are in. This is going to be Lucifer for trying to see if he can counteract the damage, but the dots are up. Walmart not in a great spot either. Does he have to burn a wall here? Lucifer kind of running on borrowed time. Those dots are ripping right through him stunned but at least he has himself a bear form no bark skin lucifer not a great spot try to see if he can walk away at this point what do you do do you stay in try to see if you can take down the feral or do you run away try to get yourself a bit of line inside and maybe a bit of a clearance short and deadly up next versus a feral druid if walmart rogue plays this one super super carefully right he should be able to win a duel versus an arms warrior that being said if arms warrior could stay on you almost the entire time and get some beef and bleeds of his own Put pressure make the feral play defensive not focus on offense at all you will actually maintain yourself towards the feral in the bear form and eventually the mortal strikes will end up taking him down little by little walmart trying to see if he can avoid the blaze of short and deadly got him some plenty of damage but not too many bleeds as long as there's some kind of a dot on him you will prevent short and deadly from being able to heal but otherwise, you're gonna have to be very careful. Trinket immediately for short does try to see if he can go for the stump, but the root is gonna end up stopping short and deadly a little bit short. Seven minutes into the duel, 35% DF, but the short just sitting down for some mage foot. I think he's just trying to see if he can get Walmart Rogue to come to him. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get dotted. I need to find a way to fight through it. 
I'm just gonna sit down, get myself a chow while dampening slowly but surely get it up. Babble stun with the trinkets for both of them. Both of them have the exact same response to each other, but short actually maintained good damage. Oh my god, that was so much damage out of left field. What just happened? Oh, I think this guy became a fury warrior for just a quick second. Just all the rage unleashed all at once. Everything was going kind of sort of slow. What the? <laughs> I don't like that. Come on. I thought he played well. I thought he did a good job. You don't have to be Oh my god. Totally reasonable. Chicago having to go for every defensive though. Short deadly. Still got a bit of a bite in him. Got himself a full parry. Light lasso. But Chicago cannot break out of this and just have to take the full damage. And that's going to be knocked back by Chicago. Short needs to either get over to Chicago start doing damage or back away. It looks like the flame shock together with the root totem as well as the uh, shadow flame dot is gonna do a number to his health bar got himself battle stance as if he wants to go in for some damage but maybe he got a stun very very soon avatar and everything available so maybe he wants to have himself a go full setup trick out of chicago blaze him right after got us a bit of a damage gonna be a reflect that's gonna be burrowed gonna do a lot of damage cloak is up for short and deadly picking up a bit of health oh what is that execute what was that big chopper he's got there oh my goodness I feel like a lot of you guys will look at his name and you're thinking, Haha, he's short, how can I lose? But you're missing the part where it just says the end deadly at the end. I feel like that should be the highlight. Like, I feel like you should write short part in very, very, very tiny letters. Just because, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, fitting. But deadly should be as big of a caps lock as you can get it, right? The biggest font you can find, right? The wackiest font ever. <laughs> oh, man. Twice now. He's just like, oh, right, it looks kind of even. And then a big old execute turns it around with the uh, Woodwalk and Demon Hunter. Trying to see if he can get himself a better go versus Short. Short cannot catch up any kind of healing. The man just doesn't let him catch up whatsoever. Maybe he can get a heal. Maybe fear. Anything. Charging in. Got himself a bit of a heal. Could maybe go for Stromble. Does get a bolt. That's going to be a bit of damage as well. Roar with a big bleed. With a parry right after. Uh, stunned by Windwalker. Trying to see if he can maybe end this right here. That is a one little defensive left for Short and Deadly. Just bleeding out little by little. Got himself rallying cry. But the eye beam of the blade dance are going to end up taking you out. Windwalker had to play that one super, super slowly just to make sure that he can maybe fight versus the next one because he's got a lot to get through he got us a tutsio over here as a frosty mage you got volk in the back as well as light beside to get through how many how many bodies did uh short and deadly blast through was it three my god <laughs> so good as when walker at least is given an opportunity to like get himself a little bit of reset this is going to be a breath into ring of frost almost catches him trying to go for snow drift looking to maybe avoid that as best as possible flurries are going to slow him down sigil of fear onto zutsuya with a hunt to follow should be able to go for a big damage trinket immediately by the mage got himself all the time that's a lot of damage taken is going to be able to alter a lot of this damage taken as it's going to be a demon spawning in for one walk and dh able to maybe slay it looking for maybe an opportunity to get himself a bit of a heal that or catch up behind the pillar ray of frost unless you can interrupt it trying to go for a kick doesn't quite connect it's gonna be big blade dance it's gonna force out a nice block out of tootsie though Windwalker is gonna switch his attention onto the uh, water elemental shoot pull it behind the pillar if you can no mind no he's just gonna wait until block is over and then try to see if you get back in not a lot of health available for him maybe he can go for sigil of here gonna be big explosive as long as he can avoid the uh the shatters he may be okay. Cloak is out right now for Tritzio as Windwalker trying to see if he can deny any kind of CC. Immediate in prison as the mage trying to see if he can recollect a little bit of his cooldowns little by little. Images are up. Breath onto Windwalker. Ring of Frost to follow. Does get to kick it. That's actually huge. I beam doesn't quite connect, but Tritzio cannot go for another block for a little bit. All the time giving him a bit of an opportunity to live this. Darkness down from Windwalker. Tritzio blinking back in. Looking to maybe shatter and freeze the guy. Not a lot of health. Oh! Does end up going for them spikes back to back. Doing a good job with it too. Holding their own. I was thinking maybe when Walker or Demon Hunter was going to be able to bring it back. But man, Tutsio wanted to go for an honor duel. Mostly because they knew that, yeah, I can win this. Yeah, I'm going to give him a fair shot. But I could totally win this one.